those two eyes, you would think, belong to different people. They belong to the same man. And not only have we got different colours, radically different constitutional types, we've got different structures as well. Now, when we know more about structure, I'll be able to point that out to you. When I asked about the history of this man, um, I said, what do you know about your childhood? What do you know about your parents, actually? He said, I never knew my parents. Uh, I was found on a doorstep aged two days. And I've lived my entire life in care, uh, in some kind of institution, including recently. He was 53 at the time I, t I saw him. And I said, what was your diagnosis? You don't get to stay in care as an adult without, you know, having a mental health problem, basically. So he said, uh, borderline personality disorder. If you know anything about that, that is more than one person <laughs> living in the same skin. Okay. So... Um, Heterochrome iridum is a really interesting phenomenon uh, in iridology, and we will be talking more about it. I wanted to show you this since the question had come up. Borderline personality disorder is quite a serious psychopathology. Um, it is that case where people, you know, literally have more than one persona. And I don't know how many of you are familiar with the concept of the chimera, C-H-I-M-E-R-A. This is a situation where uh, the theory is that there are two embryos that become fertilized in the, in the womb. One doesn't come to full term, one doesn't develop and is absorbed by the other. And in rare cases, and there's one actual criminal case in America that I was brought to my attention as a result of giving this lecture in, in Dublin at one point actually, um, where the person, the criminal, the person who'd done the murder, had two different sets of DNA and nearly got away with it until someone noticed that he had different colored eyes and that there might be a chimera in operation where they actually went in and tested the DNA from another sample and found that he had two distinct sets of DNA and that enabled them to, um, to, to capture him. So this is quite um, an extraordinary thing. I'm not saying that every case of heterochromia iridum is the same. There are, uh, there are potentially other causes as well. Let's see what's coming up on the chats here. So um, we, you'll, yeah, you'll get some information on that. Um, does that mean that uh, people with heterochromia might be prone to... Uh, I'm sorry, Davila, can you, can you clarify MH? I'm not quite sure what, the, what that's meant, what, what's meant by that. Mental health, yeah. Um, oh, right. Okay, it's a very interesting question. Um, I could be really naughty here and ask, you know, put your hands up if you think you don't have a mental health problem. <laughs> I think everybody has a mental health problem in the same way that everybody has digestive problems, if they're honest about it. And quite rightly, because we are not set beings, you know, we have... You know, we have things that, that we're concerned about, possibly. I know what you mean by mental health problem, a serious diagnosed condition, of course. Um, now, um, I say that simply because I'm going to put it, I, I want to put it on a spectrum and not make it a thing. You're not either mentally healthy or mentally unhealthy. You, most of us oscillate between the, maybe crossing that very fine dividing line at several points in our lives. People with, I'm, I'm going to give you another case history, which we'll, we, we'll be looking at. I haven't, somebody came to me and she had a mental health problem. Not a serious one. She was anxious. She just started to feel very anxious. So she was suffering from anxiety. Okay. So it's not exactly a psychopathology, but it, it's a problem. And it was a problem for her. When I looked in her eyes, she had what's called a sectoral heterochromia, which is just a wedge a radial wedge of, uh, uh, in one eye that was a different color. And we'll, we'll see a lot of pictures of these as we go. I've got several cases of this kind to discover. And actually some of you may have this too, because it's not that unusual. And in talking to her, the sectoral part, that sector of a different color revealed what her problem was. And as soon as I mentioned it, she knew that that was true. And at that point I said, I can certainly give you herbs for, anxiety and I will do that but what you really need to do is go and work on that problem and she did and it was fine so it was a mental health problem transient temporary she fixed it but it was very evident from her eyes now the eyes will not change 
the eyes still reveal what they revealed. And when we go to that, I will visit that case and I'll tell you uh, in more detail about what, what that case was about because it's absolutely fascinating. So with a uh, heterochromia, heter heterochromia iridum, any strong difference between color between one eye and the other can indicate problems of a psychological or psychosocial nature, but they don't have to be major disturbances. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe below so you don't miss any future content. To learn more about CNM or its courses, head to www.naturopathy-uk.com.